back. Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Back from my little holiday hiatus. Well, you look like you're a little bit more tanned. Yeah. 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 It was good. Too short as every holiday is. But yeah. Can't really show you guys a lot of it, but I'll insert uh, some beautiful scenery here. I uh, woke up to this every morning and went swimming. It was great. But anyways, that's not what you're here for. You're here to see me try some... Something strange, like me. So, I figure, since it's been a while, we need to catch up. Yeah, that would be good. Catching up is very good. So, we're going to catch up. Oh. <laughs> so, I've already done this before. In the, I Twisted tomato, ghost pepper, ketchup. This was recently picked up for me, the Melinda's ghost pepper ketchup. Ooh. So, I've had both. I believe I've had this one. I don't honestly recall. But I think I have. But I figure I'd do a comparison between them with Michelle here. As, yeah. Because I, I think I've had the Twisted, but yeah. I've never had the Melinda's. So. so we'll kind of see how which one has more of a kick, which has more of the uh, taste value to it. Now this one here is Canadian made. and I don't know what Melinda's is. I'm not sure which place Melinda's is from. I don't have my glasses Product of Colombia. Okay, so. Starts with a C, but not the same place. And no high fructose corn syrup, which is a good thing. And this yeah. is all natural. Yeah. And so, yeah, we will uh, go with the one that's open as the starter. The base. As our control board. Our control alt delete. <laughs> Maybe you can get it open. Come on, Michelle, flex those muscles. I loosened it for him. How are we going to do this? I don't want to... Just pour a little bit on your spoon. I don't want to pour a bunch. Okay, it's coming. It's thick. It's a thick one. Yeah, you know, this would have been easier if I had a much smaller spoon. Nah. Big spoon. More sauce. <laughs> little spoon. Small mouth. <laughs> Maximum effort. <laughs> <laughs> Very maximum effort. So it just smells like normal ketchup. Yep. Right. So this is the wicked tomato. Twisted, twisted tomato, sorry. Yep. Ghost pepper. It's good. It's got some tingle, but it's not bad. No, it's... And it's not a strong tingle. It doesn't last very it's long. It's very ketchup forward, obviously. I think it's very catchy. <laughs> But it, it does have a tiny bit of the... Yeah. Uh, for what it is, it's a ketchup, right? Yep. It's made for the general public. You don't want to... You don't want to burn the, the general public's little mouths. And it's got um, enough tang to it. It's not like one of these bland ketchups. It's really got a good tang. I don't want to look that up because I don't want to taste it yet. <laughs> there you go. But it's a cute little travel size. Oh, well, yeah, for when you're traveling. I need a hot ketchup. This one has more more barbecue smell to it, where that is oh. one smells more like a Heinz ketchup. Yeah. Well, I noticed, too, I think it's a slightly darker. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It does have, like, a barbecue-y. More, probably more brown sugar or something in it. But, yeah, it's uh, not as sweet smelling. No. Like it's got that barbecue. Not as tangy thing. smelling either. Yeah. And that's not as much vinegar kind of yeah. aroma. But cheers. More kick in this one. Yeah, you taste the pepper more. And it lasts a little bit longer on the tongue. Yeah. But it's less tangy, which I'm not... Kind of like the if tang If you could get it. the kick from that and the taste from that. Yeah, if you get the tang from that and the kick, it would be great. But that does have, like, a strangely more barbecue, like, yeah. tasting that on its own, like, blind taste test, I would say that was a barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's definitely more of a barbecue taste. Oh, let's try to combine the best of both worlds. Yeah. Oh, maybe this is why it's also got habanero in it. So maybe that's also why it's a little bit up on the pepper. 
Are you going to mix? Yeah. See if I can get the sweetness. You can have a whole spoon of ketchup. Nothing wrong with that. It's ketchup. <clears throat> Only people who don't like ketchup have an issue. That would and be true. And those are just strange people. Well, you know, there's not strange people in the world. Oh, limbo. I, that's a lot for one mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I can fill the whole spoon and not have an issue. Oh, I would. Oh, yeah, you gotta try that. You've turned it into a tomato gispacho. <clears throat> the heat does kick in, but the sweetness is there to. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> what did you have for supper? Oh, I had a spoonful of ketchup. <laughs> Full of ketchup helps the tastiness go down. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Mary Poppins, you are not. No, I don't have an umbrella. I give a spoon above your head. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the references, people. <clears throat> are you making fun of my spoon handling? Yeah, see, that's better. Because you get that tang. Yeah. So oh, I'm going to just go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Pretty good. So would you like better on, like, just having it plain with no changes? I will say I'll stick with the twisted, simply because of the fact that it's got the, su the sweetness to it, which I like about my ketchup. Yeah. If I want the, the bite, I will go with this one. But, again, it's the Melinda's is more of a barbecue. Yeah. See, if I'm going for, like, a hot ketchup, it's going to be the Twisted. Only because it tastes more like ketchup, where the other one is barbecue yeah. sauce. <clears throat> but hey, there you go. Because this is tomato paste, sugar, glucose, fructose, which is why it's sweeter. Yeah. Uh, water, vinegar, salt, spices. And seasoning. And seasoning. Doesn't even say ghost pepper on it. No, it's probably a little bit of ghost pepper, which oh, is why it's not. Ghost pepper powder. The other one has the ghost pepper and the habanero, so it's going to be yeah. spicier. Yeah, they're. Yeah. If you like ketchup, they're good. If you don't like ketchup, well, I don't know what's wrong with you. Get some more ketchup. <laughs> Get some ketchup in your life. Learn to. Maybe you haven't learn. tasted the right ketchup. Yeah. You need to catch up with the flavoring. But up. Ketchup, mustard, relish. All the good condiments that go on. And on a spicy dog. Then you just need a spicy bun for it. Oh, there's spicy mustards out there. Yep. Then you'd be there. spitting. I'm not sure if I've ever run across a spicy relish, though. I don't think I have either. I've, I've seen spicy pickles. But yeah. Not spicy Which relish. you could easily turn into a relish. If you've seen any spicy relish, let him know. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you've uh, tr made it or tried it or where, if it's been store-bought. Where you got it from, leave a comment. Maybe I'll see if I can get hold of it. Yeah, there you go. Maybe. And you have to have one episode which is just eating a spicy dog with just all the spices. Yeah, or a spicy burger. Yeah. I've made my ghost pepper burgers before, so. There you go. And my Reapers are coming along nicely, so I could make a, a Reaper burger. You could. You could reap your garden. Yeah. But anyways, on that note, I think that's it for this one, for yeah. catching you up. But um bum <laughs> Yeah. Didn't you just miss my humor? <laughs> Thankfully, they can't answer that in real time. Well, they could. I just can't hear them. That's true. And I just not paying attention because my jokes are fabulous. <laughs> They're divine. They're the best dad jokes. That they are. Anyway, enjoy the heat. Stay spicy. We'll see you next time. Where who knows what I'll try or what we'll try, and we'll just enjoy having stuff. So take care. Oh yeah, can you imagine? No. <laughs> Don't put it in your eyes. Yeah. yeah. I got Melinda in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what you do. <laughs>